Hello everyone, I am Saiganish and once again welcome to my channel, let's learn together. First of all, thanks for being here in my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to demonstrate what is a crystal oscillator. So friends, let's can begin. A crystal tube is generated the microwave frequencies. And this can be used as an amplifier or an oscillator of the microwave signals. Friends, we have already discussed what is a crystal amplifier. And if you want to watch that video, just click on above I symbol. And that link is also provided in the description. We know a two cavity crystal is act as an amplifier to provide amplification of RF signals. Basically, it can be converted into an oscillator. But some disadvantages are associated with it. Hence, the same structure cannot be utilized for generating the oscillations. As we know, to design an oscillator, positive feedback must be provided to the input. In a way, to have a magnitude of loop gain as unity. So, if we design a crystal oscillator using two cavity crystal, then we have to change in the oscillating frequency and the resonant frequency of the two cavities thereby leading to cause difficulties in generating of oscillations. Thus, to overcome this problem, a reflex crystal was introduced. In this section, we will discuss about operating principle, construction, working and applications of reflex crystal oscillator. And the complete notes of this topic is provided in the description. So friends, let's can explain. A reflex crystal is a single cavity variable frequency microwave generator of low power and low efficiency. And it is used to produce sustained oscillations at microwave frequencies. Its principle of operation is velocity modulation and current modulation. The variation in the velocity of electrons while moving inside the tube is known as velocity modulation. A transfer of power from a source of DC voltage to the source of AC voltage is called as a current modulation. Now we will discuss about working of reflex crystal. But before that, let us see how it is constructed. It is basically a vacuum glass tube. Many sections are present inside this tube. Those are electron gun, cavity resonator, repeller. Repeller is also called as a reflector and output coupling. This structure consists of electron gun which is used to produce the electron flow and it is acting as a cathode and repeller electrode. It is present at the opposite end of the electron gun. It reflects the electron beam back to the cavity resonator. It consists of a single cavity and it is act as buncher cavity and capture cavity separately. At the time of forward movement of electron beam, it is acting as a buncher cavity. While at the time of backward movement of electron beam, it is acting as a catcher cavity. This structure consists of two voltages, repeller voltage and another one is anode voltage. Repeller is connected to the repeller and consisting of negative potential. And anode voltage is connected to the single cavity and consisting of positive charge of the battery. Now let us see working of reflex crystal. Initially the electrons are emitted by the electron gun due to the anode voltage with very high velocity and the generated electrons are traveled towards the single cavity. After passing the gap in the cavity the electron movement towards the repeller which is connected at a very high negative potential. The electrons never reach the repeller because of negative field and they are written back to the gap. The velocity modulated electrons must have to travel in backward path in order to provide feedback. All the electrons are get bunched while returning to the capture cavity. Therefore, at the time of returning, the bunched electrons transfers their maximum energy to the capture cavity, thereby leading to cause oscillations inside the tube. And we are getting the RF out from the capture cavity. For oscillations to be sustained, the time taken by electrons to travel in a repeller space and back to the gap is called as a transistor time. 
when the externally applied potential is very high the electron can emit the electrons with very high velocity and these electrons are called early electrons but the externally applied potential is almost zero the electrons moves with a uniform velocity and these are called reference electrons further the reference electron experiences the electron gets very low velocity due to the negative potential and these electrons are called later electrons or late electrons this variation in the velocity of electrons is known as a velocity modulation and at the time of returning all the electrons get bunched towards the catcher cavity this leads to cause a current modulation now see the applicate diagram of the reflex crystal oscillator the applicate diagram is used to represent the bunching process and this diagram is also called as a wave diagram the process of bunching involves in the three categories of electrons that is early electrons reference electrons and later electrons here the x axis represents the time and y axis shows the distance traveled by the electrons as we know the bunching takes place at the time of return journey of the electrons in case of early electrons due to very high velocity they require more time to ripple back due to the uniform velocity the reference electrons requires very less time to ripple back towards the catcher cavity than the early electrons and we know the velocity of later electrons is very low and they take very minimal amount of time to ripple back towards the catcher cavity here we will discuss about voltage characteristics of the reflex crystal oscillations can be obtained only for a specific combination of anode voltage and repeller voltage that gives a favorable transient time that is t is equal to n plus 3 by 4 here the x axis represents the anode voltage and the y axis represents the repeller voltage each value of n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on is set to correspond to a different modes of the reflex crystal the earlier mode n is equal to 1 plus 3 by 4 delivers a larger output power which is an obviously an advantage but it requires higher out voltage levels thereby leading to cause lower efficiencies as a result the modes corresponding to n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 most widely used now let us see the specifications or performance characteristics of the reflex crystal oscillator the performance characteristics of reflex crystal is given by the operating frequency is 1 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz output power is 10 milliwatts to 2.5 watts theoretical efficiency is 22.78 percent practical efficiency is given by 10 to 20 percent and tuning range is given by 5 gigahertz at 2 watts to 30 gigahertz at 10 milliwatts now we will discuss about the applications of reflex crystal the applications of reflex crystal is given by as a radar oscillators local oscillators in microwave receivers as signal sources in microwave generators pump oscillators in parametric amplifiers and portable microwave links thank you for watching this video and share with your friends thank you everyone